Listen as I read the first sentence and look for all of the nouns. Stanley wasn't sure if the bus driver meant for him to be careful going down the steps or if he was telling him to be careful at Camp Green Lake. Let's look, let's find the obvious nouns. I know Stanley is the main character's name, so I will circle it. Bus is a thing, but because it's followed by the word driver, in this case, it's acting as an adjective describing the noun driver. So I know that I need to circle driver because it's the noun. Anytime you see two nouns next to each other in a sentence and they are not separated by a comma, it is likely that the first noun is describing the second noun. So I've already circled driver. I also see the word steps and I know they are a thing. So I'm going to circle that as well. The sentence also includes the name of a place, Camp Green Lake. Whoops. So I will circle Camp Green Lake. After identifying all of the easily identifiable nouns, we can now look at the remaining words and ask ourselves if they answer the who or the what question. So we have him and he. Though these are pronouns, they act, they have the same function as nouns. But we're going to talk about how they're different in just a minute. Now I want you to read through the remaining sentences and find the nouns. As you read the sentences, rem remember that nouns can show up in all parts of a sentence. Now we need to look for the proper nouns. Remember those are the ones who are capitalized because they name specific people, places, things, and ideas. And then the plural nouns that mean more than one of something. And you're going to record those responses right here beneath the passage. Now, as we saw just a minute ago, there is another category of words that is closely related to nouns. In fact, these words can take the place of a noun. They are called pronouns. What are they called? What do they do? Pronouns replace nouns to help us speak and write more efficiently and to eliminate the need to repeat the same word over and over. So let's look at an example. The man in the cowboy hat spit sunflower seed shells into a waste paper basket. Then he walked around the desk to Stanley. In the second sentence, he is a pronoun. It answers the question, who? Who walked around the desk? The man in the cowboy hat. He is the pronoun that replaced the man in the cowboy hat. Using a pronoun prevented the author from repeatedly using the man in the cowboy hat every time the character is referenced. So now let's look at part B. Look at the list of pronouns in the chart. They should look very familiar. These are words you use all the time. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. The list does not contain all of the different pronouns, but it does contain some basic pronouns. So let's look at our directions. Read the following sentences and circle the pronouns. Let's look at the first sentence. He stepped onto the hard, dry dirt. I see the word he in the box and in the sentence. I know it's a pronoun, 
So I'll circle it. When we read sentences in isolation, we can't always tell what the pronoun is replacing. In this case, from reading the passage, we know he is replacing Stanley. So now I want you to go through and complete numbers two through five. Make sure to circle all of the pronouns. We know that nouns answer the who or what questions in sentences. Let's focus on the words that answer the what did they do question. We'll turn our attention to another major category of words, verbs. One job verbs do is show action. Let's think about what happened in the story, about what the characters did. Stanley rode the bus. Rode is an action verb. It answers the question, what did Stanley do? What else happened in the story?